Governor Lou Leon Guerrero and Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio helped cut the ribbon to open the newly renovated Building 100 at the Guam Community College this Friday afternoon, September 6. The ribbon-cutting ceremony was followed by a tour of the brand new facility. The new Building 100 will house the Criminal Justice Department, which continues to draw high enrollment numbers for GCC, as well as JCC's General Education Program and the Office of Accommodative Services. Mary Okada, president of GCC, tells PNC that they will open the building to the faculty next week and hopes to start classes as early as next month. Okada says the specialized classrooms will benefit the Guam Police Department's ongoing academies. What we've done is actually provided them with space. Um, so normally they would use a general classroom and so only one uh, or two of these classrooms are specifically one um, as designated for the mat for their tactical um, experience and then we have a simulator uh, in another classroom that can also be used for either fire truck simulation or police car simulation uh, so that they're practicing on the simulator before they actually go out. Building 100 is adjoined to Building E, which is LEED Gold certified and will share many of the same energy efficient and sustainable features such as solar panels, a rainwater catchment, porous pavement and digital temperature controls, this according to a release. The total cost of construction is around $5 million and was funded through two components, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Long-Term Interest Loan and GCC's Capital Improvement Projects Fund. This building was contracted through Pro Pacific Builders. Building 100 is part of GCC's physical master plan, and Okada tells PNC that there is more additions to look forward to on campus. So uh, one thing that uh, we will be doing in the next month or so, um, we'll be um, breaking ground for the next facility that GCC will uh, build. It is the um, GCC GPD Forensic DNA Lab, which will be located uh, near the GPD Crime Lab. Um, and so we're just um, working out the um, timeline associated with when we will break ground. We already have a contractor identified and we are going through the building permit process. This new facility they are working on will house GCC's classrooms, laboratories, and faculty offices, as well as providing space for GPD's expanded activities. GCC hopes that by taking the initiative to grow their criminal justice department, it will help support and build the workforce for law enforcement, Okada said. For those who are interested in enrolling into their program, contact John De La Rosa, Assistant Director of Communications and Promotions at john.delarosa.com at guamcc.edu. For PNC News, Amiana Shad.